Hi guys, it's Heather from Nightly Reading. Um, I wanted to take the time right now to do my review on a book that I received recently. Um, I'm going to be doing all of my review books um, via typing up my posts. <clears throat> but any books that I purchase or that are not review copies, I think I'm just going to do a video um, review. I think they're they're easy for me to do because they're fast and I can just talk and I think a lot of people like viewing them um, and they're fun. So anyway, here's my review of the book Forever by Judy Bloom. Um, any of you that had watched my In My Mailbox last week, um, you know that I received this book as a challenge prize from Angeline Case. Um, Angeline Case had asked all of her street team members, Angeline's Awesomes, to review her new book, Enemy Within, um, and post a review, and the first, I think she took the first three or the first five, I can't remember, um, would get to choose a book up to $10 from the Book Depot or Amazon. I was the very last one to win one of the challenge prizes, so I chose Forever by Judy Bloom. Um, I have been waiting for a really long time to read this. I couldn't find it. I found it on Amazon, threw it on my wish list. Um, as you can tell, I'm very, very cheap with my books. I just don't like to purchase them if I don't have to. Um, or I'll find them or I'll wait until they, you know, come out in paperback or whatever. So, um, anyway, uh, love the cover. I think the cover's cute. Um, Judy Bloom. I've only known as a children's author, um, so when I saw that she had written a young adult book, I couldn't wait to get it. Um, the back says, there's a first for everything. When you build up something in your mind, really imagine it, wish for it, sometimes, when it actually happens, it doesn't live up to your expectations. True love is nothing like that, especially not for Catherine and Michael, who can't get enough of each other. Their relationship is unique, sincere, intense, and fun all at the same time. Although they haven't been together all that long, they know it's serious. A whole world opens up as young passion and sexuality blooms. But it's senior year of high school and there are big changes ahead. Michael and Catherine are destined for another big first, in quotes, a decision. Is this the love of a lifetime or the very beginning of a lifetime of love? Um, the back's really cute. I love the little flowers right here. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. What can I say about this book? The storyline... I enjoyed, um, it was a very short book, only 192 pages. Um, it does talk about sex. It has to do with Catherine and Michael um, having sex for the first time. Michael was not a virgin. He had sex um, before, and there's actually a part in here where he had caught a venereal disease from the girl that he had sex with before. Um, she was just a summer fling that he had met. He didn't even know her last name. And they only had sex twice. Catherine, who the story is told by her point of view, um, is a virgin. And she's only ever had, like, one boyfriend. And he was always pushing her, pushing her, pushing her to have sex. And so she broke up with him because she couldn't stand it anymore. Now, what I find ironic about the whole thing is that she couldn't stand the fact that this um, other ex-boyfriend was always pushing to have sex. Um, so she broke up with him. And in this book, she, you know explains to her mother she has a lot of deep conversations with her mom and she explains to her mother that you know he's not in it all for sex and granted I don't think he was in it all for sex but in my mind he was a little he was still pushy like every time they got together you know he'd be like oh you know take off your shirt and she'd be like no 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 and I just want to lie next to you yo okay and then it would just lead into other things so I, I really think that he was pushy himself I, I don't know um from the reviews that I read, the book was supposed to be, like, not what an author would write about your first time. You know, how it was so wonderful, it didn't hurt, nothing, you know, it was perfect. Who the hell has a first time like that? No one. So, um, it actually was written, you know, perfectly. It was awkward, um... You know, it was painful for her. It only lasted, like, literally three seconds. And, you know, so it was written perfectly. Judy did a wonderful job with writing, you know, a true first-time experience. Um, as for the writing itself, Judy is a wonderful children's writer. And I did love, like, a lot of her children's books from when I was younger. Um, however... For being her first young adult book, eh, the characters, 
the way she describes her characters is they're 17 turning 18. And honestly, they don't talk like that. Like when I read this book, if I wouldn't know that they were 17 turning 18, I would think that they were like 13. Um, the way that they talk and the way that she even thinks about things sometimes is like younger. It's not um, progressed. I mean, there are, you know, they use the F word and, you know, those kinds of things. But it still was written like a younger teen. Um, would I let my 14 year old read this? Absolutely. There was nothing really like insane in the book that, you know, it wasn't like I'm handing her 50 shades of gray and saying, here, how about it? Um, it actually was like a really good book for a younger adult. Um, very, very younger. I would say 13, 14. As far as like someone 17 or 18, they wouldn't be interested in this book. They would probably read the first chapter and be like, meh, and throw it to the side. Because it literally is written like a children's book. Um, otherwise, I did love the storyline. Um, I read it through right to the end. I will probably put it on my bookshelf and keep it for a very long time. Um, and I probably will hand it off to my daughter and see what she thinks about it. But otherwise, um, I would have to give this book a 3 out of 5. Um, it was just okay for me. I, I waited a really long time for it and, you know, I really, really wanted to read it and I'm glad that I did and I thank Angeline Case for purchasing the book for me, um, for winning the challenge, but literally, like, it was just okay. I give it a 3 out of 5. Thanks, um, thanks for following Nightly Reading and I'll see you soon. Bye!